Abu Sa'id al-Sijza was a scientist from the 10th century. He was a mathematician, an astronomer, and an inventor from the region of Sistan, in today's Iran and Afghanistan. He lived during the Islamic Golden Age, a time of major scientific progress in the Muslim world. Al-Sijza traveled and worked in important cities like Baghdad. These cities were centers of science, with libraries, observatories, and scholars from many cultures. He studied geometry, astronomy, and trigonometry, and he read earlier scientific works from Greece, Persia, India, and the Arab world. Most people in his time believed the Earth did not move. They believed the stars and planets moved around a still Earth. This idea was accepted for centuries and was rarely questioned, but al sidzi carefully observed the motion of the sky. He found patterns that did not match the old explanations. He began to consider a bold and new idea, the Earth might rotate on its axis. To explore this idea, al sidza created a new scientific instrument. It was called the Al-Dat Al-Halak Astrolabe. It was a circular metal instrument with rings and markings, designed to show the movement of the sky based on a rotating Earth. This tool was one of the earliest devices in history built on the idea that Earth moves. The great scholar Al-Biruni wrote about al sidzas invention. Al-Biruni explained that the instrument worked correctly if the Earth was rotating. This was a major scientific insight. It took place more than 500 years before Copernicus and Galileo in Europe suggested similar ideas. al sidzza did more than propose Earth's rotation. He improved trigonometry and created new ways to calculate angles and distances. He wrote books on geometry and astronomy. He developed better methods for finding latitude, time, and star positions. He created astronomical tables and built tools for studying the sky. Many of al sidzas books were lost over time. Wars, fires, and invasions destroyed important libraries. Because of this, his name became less known in later centuries but his ideas influenced other scholars and helped change the way scientists understood the universe. Today, al sidzi is remembered as one of the first people in history to suggest that Earth rotates. His rotating Earth astrolabe is one of the earliest scientific instruments based on this concept. His work shows how advanced astronomy was in the Islamic Golden Age. It also shows how science grows when people question old ideas and search for new answers. Al Sidzi helped move humanity closer to understanding the true structure of the cosmos. He represents a long line of forgotten geniuses who shaped science long before their ideas were recognized around the world.